And the third exclusive story on the show this evening, the Indian Space Research Organization or ISRO has achieved a very, very, very big milestone today with its 100th mission and has revealed an ambitious future plan of crossing the next 100 launches in just five years. Starting off with the SLV in 1979, the space agency ISRO has crossed the 100 mission mark after 46 years. But what stands out is the PSLV's dominance through the years with 62 missions. And the next five years, very interesting, the next 100, ISRO says, will be in the next five years. We spoke to the ISRO chairman. Here's the story of that historic launch this morning. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. LPD stages are ignited. It's a historic day for ISRO. F-15 rocket. Ka. What's the feel like? How do you feel? Ah, it, is a, a it is a proud and exciting moment. Uh, uh, number one, the 100th mission, when we put a target, it is a perfect successful mission. And it is a very, very proud moment, not only for us, for the entire country, you know, younger generation, who has got the responsibility to make this country as a developed country. Everybody, it is a exciting is there and it is a proud occasion for all Indians. After 46 years, we are seeing uh, that 100th uh, mission is launched today when we had started and today where we stand today. How, uh, how what's the difference and what would be the next uh, mission for uh, Australia? No, when I joined in ISRO almost 40 years back, uh, one launch will take place once in two years or three years. So, uh, so we are, uh, the curve if you see slowly you started, now we are in the exponential growth. So, again, the numbers are not very important for us. More than that, the requirement, need based, it will be launched. But our capability is today, 15 to 20 launches, we can, if demand is there, we can launch. One, LPD zero. stages are ignited. ISRO has successfully launched its 100th mission from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota. Today being a historic day for India where we see that ISRO has today launched its 100th satellites that's the GSLV F7, uh, F-15 and also speaking exclusively to Republic TV we see that ISRO chairman um, uh, v Dr. V. Narayana has said that it's definitely a very proud moment for India and also um, the efforts which have been put in by each and everyone is definitely a big milestone which they have launched since uh, the it was in the year 1979 when we had seen the first satellite being launched and today after almost 46 years of a long wait we see that ISRO has launched its 100th uh, uh, mission that's uh, the satellite which was launched from Sri Harikota at 6:23 a.m. today the GSLV F-15 liftoff at 6.23 a.m. this morning is significant of India's growing prowess in space research. It is like a scoring a hundred. So a hundred uh, in cricket is something is not very easy. So it is a, a tough task to come to the hundredth liftoff from the Sri Harikata uh, range. So it is a credit of the entire ISRO uh, fraternity. Rio State press cut off. Plus 19 minutes. Sat flight injection conditions are achieved. With a hundred feathers in their cap, the race for the 200th mark will be the next milestone. It's an important mission not only for ISRO but for the entire country uh, because that is a vehicle. It's made in flight. And a new vehicle. Though it is a derived from LVM3, it's a new vehicle. Its aerodynamics is uh, different. Its uh, avionic system is more complex because we are going to quad system. Instead of two system, quad system. Chandrayaan, Aditya L1, Mars Orbiter, and SpaceX. India is walking the talk in space research. The Gaganian mission, I will not say there is a delay. Of course, with respect to original target, there are some delays. There are reasons for that. But, but it is a totally a new technology development. It's now injected and the mission is completed. The mission is clear. Atmanirbharta in space.